Hello everyone, it's time for another tip of the week. I got a question regarding how I uh, paint the figures, the small figures like these, into my landscape. So I thought today uh, I just want to go over a few things that I usually pay attention when I add figures into the landscape painting. Um, however, what I do in my landscape painting is because overhaul is a landscape. So these small figures plays very key role to bring life to the landscape, but uh, it's not intentionally make them as the main subject matter of a landscape painting. So I'm just going to go over how I do these small figures in an easy way. In the, uh, there are three things I usually pay attention, so I'll get a real photo reference. So here are two figures, one female, one, one uh, male. What I usually pay attention are three things. One is the proportion. So the human figure, the height of anyone, the proportion is about seven and a half heads to eight heads tall. So the proportion of how big the head and how tall this person make the person look right or look wrong. So um, in other words, if you put a person with a very big head, it will not look like adults, it's more look like a child, okay? If you put a too small of a head, then um, the person would look like a too tall, look like a telephone post, okay? So that's one thing. The second thing is, a figure, doesn't matter whether it's a male or female, needs to have a shoulder. Uh, so the shoulder width is about two heads tall. So if you flip this head um, into his shoulder, his shoulder is about two heads wide. So common mistake is you put a head on, you put a body, but there is no shoulder. So that will make the figure look funny. Uh, sometimes the the uh, female shoulder will be a little bit uh, more slopey than the man's figure, which is more flat. So that's number two. Number three is I usually uh, put them put the figures into action, so they have some kind of an action gesture uh, instead of a standing still, because in landscape. Uh, most of the time people are walking or running or, you know, do some other things. Most of the time we don't put our two feet apart at the exactly same point. So we're moving, so one leg looks longer than the other or they merge together. So I usually don't put shoes on because when you put them in motion, if you have two shoes or feet, there, that would just make the person uh, instantly stop instead of walking or keeping the motion. So that's the three things. Um, one is a proportion needs to be seven and a half or eight uh, heads tall in proportion. And the two is the figures need to have a shoulder and the shoulder is about two heads wide. I mean, the, the head height but two heads white as a shoulder and three is always try to put people in action so let's see how we can go about it uh, when we paint it so here is a sort of a landscape background i put in and uh, I want to show you how I'm going to put the figures like this into this painting. However, uh, one more time, I'm not going to copy this. Once you start copying something, especially figures, it will look very stiff. So I just use this as a reference. At the same time, I'm just painting my own figures uh, as three of them as a family, I hope. 
Okay, so uh, when you start doing the figures, the majority of this is basically uh, shapes. So don't think about the color of this person's shirt or pants. Just think about the shape first and see um, how we can uh, get the proportion right. And then you can change it to any color. So let's say here is the one. So I'm going to get this uh, lady in there. And um, right now I'm just ignoring uh, the color thing. And as I said, the proportion, I think his leg will be somewhere in there. And so he's she is walking. And then uh, in the middle is a child. Okay, you see the child is a lot shorter, but uh, his head is about the same. A little smaller, but not that small. Okay. So, and he is holding hands with his father. So his father is a little bit taller um, um, as the mother compared to the shape, but the proportion needs to be correct as well. Okay. So, now us see, um, now, the family of three is walking. Then you can think about what kind of uh, uh, color you wanted to give to them. And let's just say the gentleman is wearing a white shirt. So I'm just uh, lightening up the shirt a little bit. We'll work on that. And uh, this is a lady. Uh, I'm going to give a little bit of long hair to her. Maybe a ponytail, how about that? Okay, okay. so now, um, and when she is holding his hand, you see the now they all have shoulders, okay? When it, the angle changes, the shoulder could not be, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly uh, as the two heads width, but needs to be somewhere uh, correct uh, in proportion. And I think I gave her a bag to carry. How about that? Okay. And okay, so we can change her to be wearing a skirt. Okay. And so now she's wearing a skirt. Okay. And once you have that, uh, then we can change the color. Okay. That. And let's say give a gentleman some kind of um, t shirt. Do that. And give the heads, give the face just a touch of uh, color. And his hand, and he's holding hands with his mom. Um, and let's say the mom wearing some kind of purple skirt. How about that? Or maybe we'll put a dress on uh her. -huh. A lavender dress. Casual dress. Right. Lost her hair. Um, the ponytail a little bit. So then, see, they are in action uh, because as a family, so they uh, look into each other or they do things together. So that's how uh, my figure usually is uh, painted. Okay, so. Now, the back. And one more thing, um, sometimes people forget, is the shadow. Okay, the shadow um, 
determines or helps to create the motion um, of these three. So I'm just doing that, giving them uh, the connection together. Okay. And how about a shorts for the dad? Okay. So that's pretty much it. You see how easy it is if you can think about um, shapes instead of keep thinking about the color of that person. Uh, color is important, but uh, once you have the shape, uh, you can change it to any color you want. So now determine this a little bit. And uh, I think that's it. So get the proportion right. Don't make the head too small or too big. And uh, second is give a figure, a shoulder that they deserve. We all have shoulders. Um, then uh, keep them moving, having some action uh, put in uh, with their body and the gesture. Okay, so that's how my figure uh, is painted. Uh, we can do a little bit. I don't know. I think I run out of time. So, okay. So, give some complementary color for this kid. Okay. So, he's pretty happy with mommy and the daddy. So, that's it. Um, you see the rest um, this one, because we're talking about figures, I'm not painting uh, too much. But remember, this is just a part of your landscape. We're not a painting uh, figure as the main subject matter, but it plays a very important role to add life to your uh, landscape painting. So that's it for this week. And I hope you try out something uh, with a different figures at home. Or uh, let me know when you watch YouTube. Subscribe the channel or let me know what you wanted to see. So maybe I will be able to put it together for the future tips. Okay, thanks for watching.